Rancher caught insane vid of invaders in military garb streaming into U.S. Dash it's not good. Despite President Trump's ongoing efforts, our southern border is still not secure. Illegal aliens are still streaming across the border at various points including ranch spreads in a number of states. I contend this is one of our greatest national security threats. Arizona rancher Jim Chilton's 50,000-acre spread along the U.S.-Mexico border is under siege and has been for a very long time now. It is now allegedly ground zero for human smugglers, drug cartel members, and illegal immigrants, and he has videos to prove it. Chilton is no newcomer to ranching. He's a hardened and tough fifth-generation cattleman. At 79 years old, Chilton has been warning the government forever about the dangers of leaving the border open or just securing it with a barbed wire fence. He needed to make a point, so he put up surveillance cameras throughout his property to document the comings and goings of trespassers from south of the border. I watched the 25-minute video below of a never-ending stream of illegal aliens crossing the border via Chilton's land. Many of the illegal aliens are wearing military garb. That actually shocked me and it's not good, to say the least. From the Daily Caller Chilton shared hours of video footage with Daily Caller News Foundation reporters, who are in Arizona to document life and crime in the southwest borderlands. Tim Foley, the founder of Arizona Border Recon, also shared his group's surveillance footage with a DCNF. The surveillance videos, which are mostly from 2018 but also date back to 2016, show an unrelenting stream of alleged cartel scouts, drug mules and human smugglers, known as coyotes, using secret trails to work their way into the interior of the state. Many of the trespassers tote long guns and sport military-style camouflage, posing a threat Chilton knows from first-hand experience. A U.S. Border Patrol agent was shot by smugglers in a remote section of Chilton's ranch in June, according to The Washington Times. It was the latest in a long line of violent incidents that prove border security is not a priority for the government, according to Chilton, who is a prominent supporter of President Donald Trump's efforts to build a border wall. If this rancher is adamant about building Trump's wall, he has good reason to be. After seeing this video, I don't know how anyone wouldn't come to the same conclusion as this rancher. The threat is real and severe and has to be dealt with. Some of the people captured trespassing on the property by video were carrying large backpacks and supplies, while others carried guns and guided horses. A U.S. Border Patrol agent was wounded on Chilton's property back in June when he was shot while canvassing the area. Chilton said the agent was struck in the leg and the hand but several bullets also struck his protective vest. Without it, he probably would not be with us today, Chilton told the Associated Press. I have no doubt that is true. The Washington Times had this to say. President Trump needs to complete the wall and fill the 25-mile gap, and move the Border Patrol to the international boundary rather than be located 80 miles from the boundary, Mr. Chilton told the Washington Times by telephone. CBP officials declined to comment on the gap in a wall along that part of the border. The shooting took place about 10 miles north of the border in exceptionally rough terrain. The closest town is Arivaca. Brandon Judd, a Border Patrol agent and president of the National Border Patrol Council, said the area is one of our most dangerous stretches on the border, and it cries out for Mr. Trump's wall. If we would have had walls in this location, this shooting would have never taken place, he said. He also said CBP and the Border Patrol missed a chance last year to gain lasting leverage in the fight against smuggling and illegal immigration, pointing to the major drop in numbers during President Trump's first months in office. President Trump single-handedly and with no help dropped illegal immigration to 45-year lows. We had the momentum on our side. It was expected that new policies and new operations would be put in place to ensure that we continued in the direction the president gave us, he said. Unfortunately. Our agency is still run by the Obama holdovers that gave us the failed open border policies and operations of the past. Until serious changes are made, we will not be able to secure the border with those that refuse to embrace the president's vision on border security, Mr. Judd said. The rancher said his property is separated from Mexico by a four-strand wire fence. That's almost no protection at all. We have drug runners coming through our ranch and this has become a very dangerous situation, Chilton said. How would you like to live on that border? I can't imagine how those ranchers sleep at night or how tense they must be every day knowing they could have a deadly encounter or what they might find in the wake of these invaders. It's like going to war every day with no end in sight." Chilton says with a lack of a serious barrier, combined with the Border Patrol's enforcement decisions, it has effectively ceded miles of U.S. territory to the Sinaloa cartel, which has put scouts on his hilltops and blazed smuggling trails across his land. 
I wonder how many dead bodies and rape victims have been found on his ranch. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.